One. Two. Comma. Okay, I got this. 87. 88. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna talk. Hello! This is my my office. It is usually a bed, but right now it's a beautiful, lovely table. Um, and I'm just looking through Cavalier's footage, and I thought, wow, we talked about nothing in any of the films of these climbs that I'm about to show you. So I just wanted to explain, because I think breaking down the climbs is really cool, because you can't really, it doesn't transfer on video so well. So let's just get to it. are so so small and then you grab another one that's like just nails it's just so sharp and small Jesus that was built how you caught that hole I caught it here again no you caught it this time you caught it here you're putting your, like two fingers and you like can't came into that that was nasty you're jumping to it's not great but it's good enough so if you jump to it and catch it then you're good oh, I need a burp oh. <laughs> and the body position is kind of weird like you have your foot and then you have this drop knee that you have to actually jump from I was having a bad day and wanted to try something hard that was in my style that didn't really involve too much uh, weird shenanigans it was just like pull hard and do it <laughs> tried the top out and it was such a struggle look my butt's just hanging low and my feet are like walking all over the place I was so confused and you can't see it but like I'm hunched over the rock and then and then I had I like saw this slit because it's like a crack I saw it like further up and I was like okay so <laughs> I just did all of the hardest moves that I probably won't be able to repeat who knows maybe but I was thinking at that time I was so tired I probably won't be able to repeat and I'm not moving from this position, so I'm just gonna like lunge towards that that slot and I hope it's gonna be good. So I lunged and I caught it like a finger crack, like with three fingers on a vertical crack, and it just stuck and I was like, oh, <laughs> yes. And I was um and then I was done. I was able to just mantle over, but that's why that's why this uh, top out was such a struggle. I was not expecting any of that. <laughs> Yes. Okay, this climb is just huge. It the, the video doesn't even do it justice. It's just this huge, beautiful, beautiful slab. It's it's mainly it's a vertical to be to be real, it's vertical, not slab. Um it's in El Bosque and you pass or at least Ez and I passed it each time just kind of sitting there and admiring it, like wow, but it's so tall, like we only have our two pads and like I know that that's enough, but at the same time like I don't know, better safe than sorry, right? Especially because the grades are a little higher on this one. Um, and finally, one of our friends, Guillaume, joined us. He has this huge pad that we could put over our two pads and we gave it a whirl after like a pretty intense day of projecting. So it starts on two crimps. One's kind of like side pulley. The other one's an undercling. And then you have to like really get your tension into the wall in order to like pull in on this undercling and reach over with your hand. That hold, it looks good, but it's like, maybe it was when we were climbing, because every day we climbed, it was like the humidity was unreal. It was just, uh, 
it was a challenge. We got stronger, I'm sure, from it, but you're just like over gripping just about everything. So you kind of go and you hope it's good because it looks good and it's like good enough and you're like, I guess. And then you're kind of out of balance. And so what I would do to get back in balance is bring my foot and flag it behind me so I could bump the undercling a little more out. And then the side pull crimp that you want to get off kind of immediately. So I would bump up and then bring my left hand there. And then from here, the feet were kind of precarious. There was one little crystal out to the left and I was like, I, I was trying to sleuth out the beta as best as I could, but from what I saw, you wanted that high weird crystal that you have to like kind of put your foot on and then your right foot has to go all the way out on the other side in order to push you that way, like to the left. It's kind of like if you ever climbed stained glass in Bishop, you know how you have to like put your foot up and then just like, like go for it. It was kind of like one of those moves, um, but the other direction. And I just didn't have it in me that day. In there and climb that and that's not the beta or the route goes some other way um, you should comment because we kind of had some trouble reading the guidebook which will be uh, evidenced in the rest of this video and the climbs we did but we tried our best I don't know not really claiming to have climbed um, too many things that were a little bit uh, I guess ambiguous in the guidebook just because it all is in Catala but we, we did try our best we were trying to be honest with it Oh, perfect segue into this beauty. Okay, let me just set the stage. It's it's in a sector called Faretori, and there are two rocks like this, and you just have to climb up the most beautiful crimp line. It's over a stream, so there are logs. We had to move some logs, put them there to put the crash pads. Um, and so you're you're climbing over a stream in between two rocks, and it finishes on jugs. So you're just like, there's no scare factor. It's just like. Oh my gosh, I do the first few moves, and then I'm just free like to enjoy the rest of the climb. I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but sometimes when the crux is at the top, you're just like, whoa. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out if I wanted a heel or a toe or like what to do, and you can't see the left foot. The left foot is smearing. It's not really on anything. And then I like did it. I, I got to the top and it was the most wonderful experience and I was so happy. I posted it on Instagram because I'm like, oh my gosh, look how easily I did this. Ah, I'm awesome. And it turns out that maybe, potentially, I should have started on the foothold. Which I, 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 we went back and I can see it now that like, maybe it was a handhold, maybe it wasn't a foothold. But anyways, I went back because I was like, oh shit, like now I'm going to try it. Like whatever the stand was, beautiful. If you aren't climbing like higher grades and you want to just do something really pretty, like, I highly recommend the stand, just it's not the right climb, I guess. And so the sit start is a little bit like, uh, it's it's pretty. It's just like, it didn't seem like the clear line to me and that was like my bad. But I went back and these are the first moves that lead into the rest of the climb, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
we were climbing the crack, the fisu la fissura on the left side of this climb, um, which was uh, a really beautiful climb, but since I don't really have much experience laybacking, I actually threw a tantrum on it and like cried and was like super annoyed that I couldn't do the climb, but then I got it and it was terrifying and all of that aside, Ez actually managed to do that super easily, so I'm like, you should try the harder one on the right. I cannot tell you how bad the conditions were. You would like touch it and look at your hand and it would just be like this spot of grease and it would be like, oh my god, like how do you even hold on to this? It's a pretty burly climb. It starts like one hand on this fissura, a smaller one, and then one hand on the under cling crimp in the roof. Under cling crimp on the roof. Under -cling you basically <laughs> hug your way up this climb all the way to the top and then it slabs out and again like the book wasn't super clear and there's a picture of someone topping out on the left side but whatever this was it was scary and cool as shit so as finished the top out on this like really dicey little slab dicey little slab where um me and a friend sergi were at the bottom like spotting like looking at each other oh okay we got this right <laughs> the whole landing cascaded down after where the pad was. So the pads were like half on, on terra firma, right? Half on like solid ground. And then the other half were like leaning against nothing, like our legs maybe. So we're like, okay, you got this, you got this lab and like moving around. But it was pretty awesome to watch Ezra just kind of slay this. I think it actually started raining right afterwards too. So props to that, to doing this burly mammoth in temps that were so humid, it like began to rain. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just start off on a positive note. Um, we all went to this climb and it's beautiful. It's in Peretor. So that's where the little crimp line that I did but didn't like false start it, I guess. It's in that same area around the corner. And it, so it's also over like a river, which is just wow. Like, can you, like we had to move logs too and, and put the padding over the river, which was so pretty. And there's this really beautiful V4. Like, so beautiful and we all like flashed it which was epic um and on that stoke train we're like yeah let's go there's um this eliminate and it's very difficult it's like this is the second one of today but like you know iron man traverse how there's like that big move where you go up uh in the middle and it's like a v9 or something so it's like that kind of move but instead of a heel it's just like a foot but it's like that I think some people use a foot on it, but it was exactly like that move um, with the other hand. And I was like, cool, 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 yeah, let's do this, you know? Um, and then this was me trying it. You just hike your feet up high, get this high left foot right next to you, and go up to this lip that's not perfectly perpendicular. You have to stay really into the wall so your hand is tangential to the sloper. And then match it, and then just up you go. <laughs> I went back multiple days, and although I stuck the move, like, a couple times in isolation, I never got it from the beginning. So here is Ezra showing us what's up.
for watching. I hope you enjoyed my commentary and it gave you a closer look as to how we project things, how we climb, and just, I don't know, life of a climber, of a boulder. Uh, Caballeros is beautiful. If you want more information down in the comments, I will put the names of the climbs and timestamps for the sends if you would like to see them. Uh, thank you. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, go to my channel and check out my other climbing, van life, and travel content. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other shenanigans coming your way.